This is Tom Duty, middle-aged American, living in New Jersey near the Lincoln Tunnel. If you were to visit my website, you would type Howdy Duty into Google. You'll find the correct spelling of the famous puppet. You then combine Tom Duty in a Google search for my site. This, um, I'm a jolly bee. I'm not here for the purpose of Uber. I'm here to eat. I'm near Port Authority Bus Terminal. Port Authority Bus Terminal is in New York City near the Lincoln Tunnel. I'll meet my wife here soon. I'll meet my wife at Port Authority. We'll go, to, we'll go home to New Jersey together. Here's my deliveries tonight. This is, I started there at this one at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I thought it was 9. There we go. I am so happy. Dig me. Alright, I'm recording my Uber video. You're in Soho? All right, I'll see you at PABT. Ciao, ciao. I'm a jolly bee. Ciao, ciao. Ciao. How are you feeling? How are you feeling? You're supposed to say jolly. How are you feeling? Ciao. I'm feeling jolly. Ciao, ciao. Salamat. Ciao. So, um, I'm going to do the ones where I got tips first. The, the tip is... Right there, $6. Now this was the police station, and this Ninth Avenue is uh, Sticky Fingers. So I was in Sticky Fingers when I got that order. That was one of two deliveries. This thing got messed up because I had two deliveries on my phone. I had two orders, and when I delivered the first one to the police station, the other one disappeared. So I had no place to take the food. I gave it to the cop. I said, well, let me just check my phone because I think the other one canceled because there was a delay in the kitchen. And um, sure enough, it had canceled, so I gave the cop the food, and I think that's probably what generated a relatively generous tip from a cop. And then this last one was a young woman. Um, yeah, Ninth Avenue, this is... Uh, this is, uh, it was on the, this is Ninth Avenue, it was on the west side of the avenue, it's called, uh, you know, Empanada Mama or something like that, the ethnic connection between what I think is sort of an Argentine place and the food, the woman was not Latina. Then the rest of the orders, listeners, here's the one advice, if any of you are doing uh, Uber, or any, yeah, and any app delivery uh, service. The the irony is this: when you're not getting deliveries, I know I'm speaking from my own experience. When I'm not getting deliveries, that's when I think about why I'm not getting deliveries the most. But the reality of it is, it's more <coughs> productive to give thought to where am I when I get deliveries. And how can I leverage that when I'm not? So it's a simple fact that says the restaurant is here and when I get a delivery and I'm at Sticky Fingers and I'm in the restaurant, my phone goes off and says Sticky Fingers. Great, I'm already here. I was the closest one of the people qualified, which for me, that means the, the apartment, the, the person who's eating the food has to be very close. That makes me qualified. If I'm the closest one, I'm going to get it. And if I'm in the restaurant, I'm um, possibly the second or third candidate. This restaurant is a hangout for delivery people. So always think about which restaurants are popular and be as close to them as possible, including in them. The Sticky Fingers is an unusual place. I can sit there in and out through the course of an evening, two or three other drivers in there, delivery people at the same time. And and it's uh, comfortable there's no sense that i'm overstaying my welcome uh, part of it is a credit to these metal stools which are very much like that metal stool there so you can put one of them up against the wall and sit away from the people eating and it makes it seem a little more like a appropriate place for a delivery person separate from the customers so so this is the trips that added up to 
uh, right here. Not a lot of money. However, for the week, which is that plus that, I'm up to 114 in total earnings. This amount of money doesn't have the promotion. So if you go down here, that 31, so 31 and, so that's uh, 31 and that's 51, probably 52 something. That number, maybe I did it wrong, maybe it's 62. Right there, that's what I earned, that's the tips, and then there's the promotion. So the promotion is bigger than the earnings. So here's transactions. Now this has the deliveries as well as any other transaction, including tips. So if I go to the beginning of this, this is much longer than the list I just looked at. So today's the 15th. If I get to the... Gosh, look at that. Okay, there's 13th. Here's 15th. So the tips are there, promotion, $4, and I do another delivery, I get another $4, promotion, another delivery, then another $4, then I get a tip, then I do another delivery. Look at the delivery numbers are the smallest numbers on this list. Then I get another $4, and I do a delivery, and I get another $4, and then I do a delivery, I get another $4, another delivery, $4, Another delivery, four dollars, and then I get ten, and then another four, and the uh, another delivery, and then, and then there's my tip. So, uh, um, the I talked to a guy today who asked me if I do why, why do I do deliveries on a city bike? And he had looked at the city bikes and realized that they're expensive and it's impractical to do deliveries. But he he was looking at the single ride. He didn't realize about the subscription, fifteen dollars a month. And he also didn't realize about the Bike Angels, where you basically get the city bike for free, um, or at least a discounted compared to the 15. So all of a sudden, it not only becomes practical, but it, the reverse is true, that owning and bringing and managing a bike in the city is, is the expensive route. This uh, city bike is much cheaper. So then I explained the 45 minutes and you have to have the bike returned every 45 minutes. He immediately, oh my God, I can't do that. You know, it, it just sounds complicated. You got this app, it's telling you where to go to get your food, it's telling you where to deliver the food, it's telling you. Then in a different app, you got a clock ticking that you got to return the bike. So listeners, if you're, if you're considering bicycle delivery and you have a share bike, uh, please, I mean this sincerely. Try to do it with. Try to combine what I'm doing. It just this guy's reaction is understandable. I didn't really understand it because what I'm doing doesn't seem that hard. But this is a young guy, and he was immediately intimidated by the idea. But it is really not intimidating. It's a lot of fun. It's inexpensive. You don't have to maintain and manage your own bike. And and uh, New York City is an island, so it's a, and it's also um, expensive. So. Uh, it's hard to get a bike in and out of the areas that you want to be. So the share bike is a great solution. So why not use it for um, a delivery? And the answer is kind of captured by this man's reaction because it seems intimidating. It seems complicated. And uh, 
listeners, I promise, if you do it piece by piece, do the deliveries with your own bike maybe, and then just try it on a share bike, uh, especially if you're someplace where you can get walking routes, it's just great. It's a lot of fun. And uh, every now and then, like tonight, a cop thanks me and gives me a, a relatively generous tip for a, a cop. Um, and also on the walking routes, you're able to finish the routes very fast. And a lot of people say things like, wow, that was fast. So it's part of a functioning system when you're on a walking route using the share bikes and uh, the results are, are, are part of a high-functioning system. It's, it's, it's uh, demotivating to be part of a, a low-functioning system. So to be on a share bike with a walking route is part of a relatively high-functioning system, getting people to say things like, thank you, and that was fast. This has been Tom Duty, middle-aged American, living in New Jersey near the Lincoln Tunnel. If you were to visit my website, you would type Howdy Duty into Google. You'll find the correct spelling of the famous puppet. You then combine Tom Duty in a Google search for my site. Thank you for listening. Have a good day, good evening, a restful night's sleep. Ciao.